Hello everyone, um, welcome back to my channel, Tableau Tip Top. Uh, continue with the previous uh, version on the zoomable um, chart. Uh, the previous version I introduced the zoomable uh, area and bar charts, and today is, um, is the uh, zoomable uh, scatter plot chart. Uh, which is I'd uh, like to print uh, to you the different way, different methodology uh, on um, creating the, uh, uh, the zoomable uh, scatter uh, plot chart. Right? So um, the uh, the result is um, when you you have the uh, you have the um, manage of the data point here, right? But it's, uh, it appears uh, very busy in the, uh, in the visualization. So if you want to focus in, uh, in any area, so you just move uh, over this uh, mount here and you can see uh, you know, uh, the data appear in a clear picture you know, with this uh, um, obvious um, you know, the distance bigger and with the detailed information for you to uh, look into. Right? Um, it is uh, very useful when you uh, have the busy data point. Uh, so I will uh, walk you through uh, on uh, creating these uh, the zoomable uh, scatters, uh, you know, approach. Right? Um, so the first one is let uh, let create let start from fresh. So again, I use the um, a superstore uh, data. Right. Um, so let print uh, into the view of this um, uh, scatter plot. Right. So uh, in in order to create a scatter plot chart, at least you have a, uh, you need to put uh, you know the x and y axis in here in order to create a point. Right? So um, I, the first one is I will print the sales. Uh, let print the sales. Uh, in uh, you want the sales appear uh, here right? on the on, on the on the x axis, and you know on the y here I want to show this uh, the profit. Of course, uh, I think it's in this data uh, we have a profit ratio here, uh, but it's some. So I want to create the um, profit ratio, uh, but uh, for the uh, single point, uh, this is sort of single um, date, right? Which is, uh, I will tell you why uh, I, I need to create that one. So, uh, basically, I just say the profit ratio, I just take the profit and divide by sales. So, and you see the um, non aggregate uh, um, uh, measure, right? okay. I bring the profit into the views as well. So in the view, um, I will print the uh, into the average, and I want to look into this profit average as well. I might. Uh, the format here has to be percentage, so I change it to the percentage. Yeah. And here, uh, I think it should be in the uh, currency, in the money. So uh, do the format here. I think it uh, currency uh, that it's uh, thousand. Okay, and I uh, remove all the all the you know the title here just uh, give the uh, bigger room uh, for the data visualization. So remove it. Okay, now I have it. So I will print uh, the subcategory where I want to see the sales versus the profit. Right? So I bring the subcategory in into the uh, detail. So now I have the uh, scatter plot. Here, um, let uh, differentiate it by the different colors. Color, yeah. I think it's. Uh, 
I would change that into the cycle in order to see uh, 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 clearer on the um, on a different uh, subcategory. So I think it's into the cycle. I will um, uh, I will bring the sales into the sites. I need to control and bring that into the size. Yeah. Make it a little bit bigger. Yeah. I think on the opacity, you know, I reduce the uh, on opacity in case of any uh, overlapping the cycle, so we can see the one uh, below. Much yeah. it? Maybe fifty percent, sixty percent, and all. That's good. All right. So I bring that to the entire view. So now it, uh, you can have in your view, uh, the, you know, um, very nice uh, scatter plot. Right. Um, so I will duplicate this this, uh, this um, visualization in order to uh, to zoom it uh, when we. Uh, when we hover the mouse, so first one, I would change the name uh, can be the um, own cycle. Okay. So I duplicate. Okay. So have to, I, I change this name in zoom it. Perhaps only have a name, so unit. Okay. Right. So now it's where the matrix will come from, right? Okay. So um, I um, I think in here I would change the size it look bigger, easier to see. Yeah. Okay. And I back to the original uh, visualization. Oh, sorry, this one. Um, in here, I uh, will uh, use the bin uh, where it allow me to scale up or scale down the um, visualization. Right? So uh, let's see. Um, and is 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 the reason why I create the um, the profit ratio um, uh, in the uh, non uh, aggregate um, data in order to 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 convert that to the bin. So. You know, in order to convert to the bin, so just go into here, right click of the measure, and then when you go to the create, and then bins, so just create. The similar for the sales, right? So uh, I do for sales as well, so right click, create, bin. So naturally I recreated, so you can see in uh, after created, uh, create a bin, so it goes into the dimension, so you can see. I have the profit ratio here and also the sales in bin. So I will print the two into a detail. Um, ah, one more thing I, I forgot to say. Uh, when you create the bin, uh, they will have some data here uh, to sell, scale up these uh, you know, uh, data. Right? When you put a 5 or you put 4, 10, uh, the, the bigger number in here, the size of the um, of the data point wanna be bigger. Um, so in order to see um, the uh, zoom in, so I come back to the zoom in uh, where uh, in the data here I want to show people uh, more uh, the detail of the data. So I print the first of all I print the subcategory into the label. I will print the average sales into a label as well. And also, uh, I think I will print this uh, the profit to the label as well. Right? Uh, one thing here is I think it, uh, it's better I change the uh, profit here to the uh, percentage. So I right click in here, you go to the format on the number here, I change the percentage. I think it's uh, yeah, one decimal, that look good. Uh, and 
I print it uh, at a smaller uh, size in order to uh, for the all the data gonna appear. Uh, if you look in here, you don't know what the uh, 1646 what it means. So I will uh, put uh, um, some title here. Let's say this is sales. Okay. And this one is profit. Okay. Apply. So now you can see sales and profit. Okay. Look good. Okay, so now I come back to the, um, the original uh, visualization. So um, I want these. The zoom in gonna appear when I move the mouse in the two tips. In the two tip, I remove on the sitting here. When I click in insert and I insert the uh, zoom in in here, I will change the data to match the. Um, the window, uh, the zoom in window bigger, so I change it to maybe 800, 800 o'clock, and uh, the filter here. So um, I will, I don't put it on, so I just filter the, the one I put in the bin, right? So now you can see the reason why I, uh, I created bin. So it's the uh, profit ratio bin. And also the sale bin. Okay. And click OK. Right. So now when you move the mouse, you can see, uh, you know, the detailed of the um, data gonna uh, be appear clearer for you. Right? So I, I would make the, the data look uh, more uh, separate. Uh, I mean the um, the the zoom window uh, more uh, separately. Uh, so I what I'm gonna do is I go back to the zoom in here in the in the format I think it's uh, I put the uh, the worksheets in the uh, some different color yeah it's good I think it's some line here I can rem I, I want to remove so back here and then uh, sorry none none row none none here yeah. yeah. put none none Reference line and here, and same for the roads, and look good, and um, label. I want to highlight the subcategory there. Okay. Okay. So now it's uh, almost done. So when you uh, move the mouse, you see, uh, you know, the data is up here uh, in your in your in your um, in your zooming window. Right. I hope you uh, find this uh, interesting and useful. Um, um, and if any questions or any comment, please feel free to put it in my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.